Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again playing Resident Rise. And, uh, I've ran a lot of Eulorium through, because there's a 5% chance to get cyanite from, cyanite dust rather, from the sag mill, 5%. So I ran a lot through. And as you can see, this is cleared out. I'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, I did make a Blutonium ingot. Now, you can't actually see it here, but it's made with the Cyanite Reprocessor. Which is pretty simple. Uh, and I went ahead and made a bunch of turbine housings and stuff beforehand. Because I want to make sure that I, that I could get all of the long stuff out of the way. So, first things first, we're going to need two turbine rotors, which is made with two iron and a cyanite. And then we need a turbine rotor bearing, which is made with three diamonds, four turbine housings, and two turbine rotor shafts. So we only need one of those. And it looks like I'm going to need three of these, I think? No, oh, four. So, I need a power port in order to get the power out. I need the controller. This is what I needed the plutonium for. Uh, two cyanite equals one plutonium in a cyanite reprocessor. It requires water as well, so make sure you can input water into it. So we need the turbine controller. I made some reactor coolant ports. These are for the, the big reactors themselves. And for the turbine, we need fluid ports which I don't have any more pistons. So I'm going to make two of these because I'm going to output water to help supplement what's going on with the steam generation because that's how the turbines work. They work off of steam. And you'll notice I'm not bringing anything else with me because I've done a majority of the work making the, uh, the housings off camera and you may notice my buffs have I have fire resistance and water breathing I took out the sigil of the green grove and I put in a water sigil and I took out the fast miner and put in a lava sigil so this gives me free fire resistance and water breathing all the time now granted things don't go around me and I don't have the increased mining speed but it's gotten rid of most of the spell effects on my heads up display here I don't think I left anything on. Not as far as I can tell. But as you can see, I already built one turbine setting for the most part. Although I did make a slight mistake, but I can fix that. The mistake I made is that I'm going to need... Oh, I'm going to need to get some other materials as well, but we'll work on that later. Uh, I am going to need iron. I'm going to need... 50. And then cyanide, I'm going to need 25. So I need 5 rotor shafts and 20 rotor blades. And the way I'm setting this up, let's just break through this, I'm actually putting the turbines at the bottom because, well, it's just, I sat here and I went, well, steam rises, so that's how I want it. So you need one rotor bearing, and it needs to be on the side where you're going to put the actual rotors themselves. It's very important. You can't put it on the other side where the coils are, and I'll get to the coils just a bit. This is a 5x5x10. Five by five by it's not the smallest you can make. It's actually decently large. But I figured I'm going to go for broke. And as for the reactor, I've increased its height one. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm going to need three more of those. It's a good thing I ended up with more cyanite than I had planned. And then one, two, three, four, five? Oh. Uh, hmm. So, I'm going to do three coils, 
And I'm going to put the... I've already set some things up. This is the cyanite reprocessor. And as you can see, the reservoir made its way back over here. And it's got water in it. You put cyanite in here, and you get plutonium out here. And it, of course, needed power. So I'm going to put the power port up there. There's a slight... It's just a visual glitch. Like, if you look over here, it doesn't look like it's connecting. But it is. And so what I'm going to do... These are where the fluid ports go. One there, and one there. That one is out. That one is in. So this one should spit out water. Just to make sure I'm going to do that. I just want to make sure it's doing what I want it to. And then... In the reactor... Uh, oh no. Okay. This is the fine part. I'm going to put one there. And one there. And I made two extras because I'm going to be doing, uh, making another one of those eventually on this side. So I'm going to set that to out. And I'm going to set this one to out. And then once again as a precautionary measure, I'm going to tell it to extract. And that should be able to handle that. Now what I can do is I can remove the power port now. I'm not honestly sure what'll happen if I have a power port connected to this and start it, but I've got enough power that it shouldn't be a major issue, I hope, because I just recently refilled it, and I ended up getting rid of the, uh, the thing entirely, and I'm using the redstone conduit from Ender.io. As you can see, we've got pretty much a full buffer because I mean it's still it was still trying to dump out of that now it's got power in the cables but uh, let's see if I have any flowers or mushrooms uh, that's not enough red? Uh, what about mushrooms? that'll do uh, 12? I think and I made a new water sigil. I haven't made a new lava sigil yet. And I'm going to need a diamond. Good, and I've got my digital miner on me. These are very important things. I'm going to go make this outside, and then I'll probably fill it in and make an enhanced portals portal to it later. Uh, uh, hmm... I don't want to be near the woods there because I don't want to accidentally burn the world down. So, I'm going to take the mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Right. It's not going to be dark enough for those. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find enough flowers. Hmm. Suppose if I'm gonna find flowers, they'll be here. Now I believe the biomes of plenty of flowers work just fine. Oh good, there's a witch attacking me. Just what I always wanted. So. Go back over here. Place all these down. Throw in the diamond. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to work there for a second. Now, I don't believe Better Dungeons really does any... Or I think it's called Chocolate Quest now. Speaking of Choco related things. Uh, Choco Craft, the the uh, thing that adds chocobos, it was removed in the same, I believe, the same patch that took out Atomic Science, which, eh, I don't really care about that too much. I mean, they're essentially just horses that have the ability to fly to me. Waiting. Okay, 
Hopefully nothing crashes. We're here because we very specifically need two things. We need Atlaris Ore. And then we also need Adamantite. Oop. These two ores, when you convert them to dusts and put them together, will get you Tartarite. Now, we need the Tartarite for our uh, little thing there. And because we're going to make three coils, we need, like, four stacks-ish? So, we're going to need... Oh, probably about four stacks of each of these ores. Now, as you can see, they're not very common. And before I get too far away... Of course, make a waypoint here. Out. I've lost my entrance portal to the Twilight Forest before. That is not a fun experience. What am I doing? That's not far enough. There's a skeleton following me. I think it stopped. And, uh, oh, I didn't show you what I did to the storage yet, but I'll get around to that. So I think... Uh, essentially, I get quadruple whatever I'm working with. So I need a stack of Atlaris. Because I've got more than enough adamantite now. Unfortunately, as you can see, Atlaris is... Ooh, there's quite a bit over here. This pleases me. Maybe I should go for two stacks for whenever I make the second turbine, which I think I'll eventually do. I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure. It's in my plans. And it shouldn't take that long to get the last bits of Atlaris. Oop. World Gen lag. That'll happen. Something's bound, you know, lag whenever you have over 200 mods in one pack, if you know what I mean. Okay. That should be plenty enough. Enderman, what are you doing? Okay, so... Now, what I'm going to do, I suppose I need to, this is not where I'm meant to be in the slightest. I'm going to need to enrich these, and I don't believe these have secondary outputs. Oh, left them in the machine. And I'm only going to work with just one stack of each at the moment, because... Yeah, as I said, I only need to make one set of coils at the moment, so I suppose I can use this time to take cyanite, iron, one, two, three. You're still doing things. I really need to upgrade these into factories soon because th this is just starting to annoy me. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do. I'll wait for oops this stack to finish. I'll throw this in here to get this processing. And I'll go show you what I did. So, underneath of here, so we'll just look over here. And I replaced a lot of this with the uh, the, the twenty thousand, 
But as you can see, I've got the ME conduit from Render I.O. running all along this. It goes up into there. I've left the interface here for now because I haven't hooked up power over to where it's going. Ooh. Uh, yeah, this, this is the right level. So, as you can see, I put an ME interface over here with the item collector. So it's pulling the items now. I put the fluid interface over here and set it to set it uh, out. And I've got a... I moved the switch. The switch is attached to these right here. And then... Oh, this is set to only run when it has a redstone signal. So I'm pulling directly out of the network. This ME cable runs over here. Uh, one goes down into that room, which I'll get to in a second, and then another goes down into that room. So, what I'm going to want to do now... Well, that's not quite what I wanted to do, but it got me there. In this room, I have, you know, logistic crafting tables and crafting pipes. I've got stuff set up for making the ME stuff. This entire bottom set here makes can make ME chests and the, uh, the 64K cells. Got interface, cable, and any other things I need up there. Over here I have the automation for the logistics tables and the crafting pipes. And then there's basically my previous setup, which that is where the ME cable is going into, into that interface. The storage is currently over here, and I added an extra uh, chest right here. I made, so I basically tested to make sure that worked. And then look how much fluid is in there. That is 3,000 buckets of mob essence. And I put in the laser thing over here for the time being so that I could make uh, golden chipsets. So hopefully... Oh, this is done with what it's doing now. Not you, this guy. Good. So it's basically just like making the steel. You just take the two of them, throw them in there, job done. And stop what you're doing. I've got more important things for you to be making. So hopefully that doesn't take too terribly long. I want to get the turbine done by the end of this episode. This is that is my goal. There doesn't need to be a bearing on this side. I realize that looks strange. I've always thought it looked strange, but... Eh, what are you going to do? And I've got these set up, as you can see. And I suppose I'm just waiting on the stuff now. Now, eventually I want to make Emmy Auto Crafting, and it's going to be a 5x5, five five, and it's going to be in that room. So I'm going to have that auto-crafting, which is going to end up being mostly stuff I could need whenever I'm just out doing things. Uh, I suppose there's not a whole lot of that, but... Uh, there's eventually going to be things, I'm sure. Basically, anything I want to be able to get on demand out of this. So, that said... Uh, we're getting there. Fill grid with item under cursor. Balance items. Yeah. Take 72 per coil. And I'm going to make three coils. So. You know what? I want to make that into a factory, and we're waiting. So there's no reason not to. I don't think Mechanism has added anything new over the past few patches. They like went to a sort of, like, how should I say, private development builds thing, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I don't see anything new. So what I want to do is I want to make a factory. So in order to make a factory, we need control circuits. And... That's pretty much it. Uh, some gold dust, I suppose. Uh, crusher. No, that's not the crusher. Crusher. Uh, 
Now, the only downside of this is, I don't know, I believe upgrading maintains the the upgrades themselves. Pretty sure. So, what I want to do... Hmm... Seems like a dumb idea. Uh, I left it in here, didn't I? Yeah. So if I put that in there, as you can see, I'm going to get one that has all the upgrades still back out of it. I took the items out. I think the items would still be there, but I wasn't risking that one. Now, it does ruin the settings here, as you can see. Auto eject. Now it's got an auto sort feature and you see it's got three things here. So if I were to do that, auto sort spreads them out evenly among all of them. Now it says it's only taking 200 RF, but that's 200 per smelting action here. So it's actually taking 600 so that's part of the reason why we need a little bit more reliable of power because this will you can get up to an advanced factory or not an advanced factory an elite factory which has seven rows gains two rows each time and so yeah as i'm sure you can imagine that draws a lot of power uh, that's actually Twenty-four. I don't know why I'm bothering converting it back, but I am. Uh, screw it. I'll put in there that in there since I'm not waiting on anything now. I saw the glass. Yeah, it looks like I do. Oh, I never put in the controller. Here we go. And so now this is simple. A coil is literally a coil of blocks. Uh, this is becoming a pain. I'm making this far more difficult than it should have been. Okay, so they're there, they're there, they're there, they're there, they're there. Okay. Now it should just be a matter of putting the glass back in, and as you can see, it formed. Now, there's two optimal RPMs that you want to try and get these to. Those optimal RPMs are, I believe it's 1984, that's what I want for this. But those optimal RPMs, as you can see here, is either 900 or 1800. Anything beyond those is bad. The efficiency, as you can see, it's a certain amount per blade. I'm not sure if this is the most efficient setup I can get out of this, but should be okay. How are we doing on steam? Filling back up on water. Good. Now, I'm going to wait for this to get full on water. I'm not quite sure what the... Hmm... The cost of this is raised by... Why are you running so hot? That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why that's running so hot, but... It seems to be holding itself pretty well, I think. How's your water? The outwater is at 1850. Everything seems to be pretty stable, other than the fact that this had a ridiculous temperature. This is generating 250 a tick. Uh, I do believe that the optimal temperature... 
Now, this will obviously inhibit these. 0% means it's 0% inhibited. 50% means it's 50% inhibited. So, if I run this now, it should be going at half efficiency, basically. Why are you so hot? I don't understand why it's running so hot. That's still in there. Weird. Very weird. Very strange. Can I bring this down lower? That is the great question. Uh, as for how much it's transferring, that might actually be because of... It might actually be a limit on these themselves. I believe these can connect. Really? They can't? Well, that's disappointing. Hmm. I'm gonna have to make more of those then. The turbine is spinning up. is still incredibly hot for some reason. I don't understand why this reactor is running so hot. Oh, now we're dropping in temperature. I feel like this should be generating more steam as well. Hmm. This doesn't have any steam in it, which means that I'm using more steam than it's getting for the most part. Which is not at all what I'm after. So the great question here is, why is it only outputting 250? This deeply confuses me. Uh, how many of these do I have? Six. Okay, so I should be able to replace this with these. What? Okay. I'm slightly confused, but no matter. Oh, now it's generating 300 and it's not getting enough water. Uh, that's a problem. So, it appears my limiting factor is the amount of water it's receiving per tick at this point. Uh, let me guess, you're not pushing out water fast enough. But of course. And I hate to drag this out longer. I'm going to need quartz. I'm going to need a craft worth, so I'm going to need 12. I'm going to need some conduit. Finish. Thank you. And 
and hopefully this should resolve my issue just a bit. So, if I put this here, 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 no, cease and desist right now. Take all this down, because I don't know how much of it ended up with steam in it. Okay. Now if I wrench this... I wish to do extract out of there. And extract out of there. Hopefully, I don't know what the liquid output on this is like. Uh, so that's the reason why it was running so hot. Is because it wasn't getting enough water. I suppose that makes sense. Uh, what's that do to the temperature? Oh, it's going up. 500 millibuckets a tick. That makes me feel like I'm running on a little bit of a limit here. A limit caused directly by the transfer rate of these. I thought these could transfer more than that. Weird. That's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to resort to a different type or set up an additional set. Honestly, an additional set's probably be quicker and easier. Yeah. Well, no. No, I want to make sure I can transfer up to 2,000. I think. See, yeah, this is putting out more steam than I can transfer with this. Which is really strange, because I thought these could actually transfer more. Is it limited by not doing that, maybe? No. I just can't push enough steam. But as you can see, once it gets going, the actual amount of power it generates is higher because I might have upgraded this but it was still only like 4700 or so whereas we've already breached 5000 and we haven't he even reached 900 RPM there is an ad a different option what I can do is I can take transfer nodes from where are you liquid transfer node from uh, extra utilities which is made from a transfer node you know what I can't guarantee there's going to be an episode tomorrow, uh, today I made I did all of this because of the fact of I'm taking a day's break from uh, Elder Scrolls Online because I, I frankly I pretty much burnt myself out because I played a lot oh but of course Stone. What? Oh, that's ash stone. I fought some withers, in case you're wondering. Uh, Trent. No, no. 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 A yellow transfer pipe. Thank you. Throw that back in there. Transfer pipe. Good. Now, liquid transfer node. Of course, I don't have any buckets. Why would I have any buckets? Let's try this again. Now, the unfortunate part is... 
These are not going to be able to transfer it quick enough unless I make some of these, which are unfortunately expensive. I'm going to have to get some redstone soon. Uh, sure. Why not? Let's hope that's enough. Now, the unfortunate part of what I'm doing here is that I'm not going to be able to pull the water from this unless I were to make another set of liquid transfer nodes. So, all I can do at the moment is hope that this is going to be enough. You know what? Heck with it. I can leave that alone for the moment. So if I do that, this will take the water. If I do this, it can do it just a little bit faster. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'm kind of surprised it's not watering, if that makes any sense. Maybe it's because it doesn't have an actual anywhere to go? No. You're not generating... Uh, it's not generating any steam now. Hmm. Uh, fluid. Time for the emergency operation. If you haven't guessed it yet, my plan is to supply water in the other side at the moment until I can resolve this later, which will just be by putting a liquid transfer node right there, or fluid, or transfer node liquids right there to throw water into the system. Yeah, this can generate enough. It's just a matter of getting enough water at this point. And in order to get enough water, I needed that little bit of extra, because I think this system outputs water at a pretty much one-to-one -one rate. Eventually, once it gets enough water in the system... As you can see, this is going absolutely nuts. This is sitting on eight buckets of steam. This is receiving steam. Really? Sixteen? I'm not quite sure what's going on here at the moment. Uh, why do you periodically only generate like 200? Now, I think I need to get the temperature down to 900 to get the most optimal of steam generation. That may not be necessarily true, but... Hopefully it is. I think the big issue is that it's not getting quite as much water as it would like to. I don't know, something is definitely not going quite right in this situation. I don't know if this needs more speed upgrades or what's going on here. The sad part is this isn't really going up because it's not getting a stable supply. 
Uh, I wonder what I can do to resolve that. I'm not sure if I can. How did I end up with only 20 before? Whatever. Uh, transfer note. Bucket? Right. That's what I'm missing. Buckets. Okay. I know this definitely has to be getting long at this point, because it feels long. That's not what I meant to do. Transfer node. Liquid. I'll take both of them, because why not? Screw it. What was my plan? Drum? Drum. I don't know if these still can only be extracted from the bottom. I think... The thing about these is extra utilities can only put into the top and extract from the bottom. Let's not have that screwing anything, shall we? Uh... Okay. Go there. Okay, now it's trying speed upgrades. That's filling faster than it's taking it. This is causing issues, because that should not be like that. Doing that seems to cripple the water. The real question here is, why is it only pulling that much? Hmm. Very strange. How about you? How does that function for you? Slowly. The entirety of this situation is not going as fast as I would like. I don't know. I'll have to sort this out, see if I can't come up with an answer. I'm going to call this good for now, and I'm going to fight with this thing off camera. Uh, probably won't be an episode tomorrow. So, just forewarning you. And I'm going to call this good for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.